Throughout history, Jesus has been called the Prince of Peace. Peace sounds wonderful. In the midst of all the hustle and bustle of life, we sometimes wish for peace. For those who are busy, it means wishing to have two minutes to themselves in the midst of the bustle. And for those who are lonely, it might mean wishing that someone, anyone, would stop and visit with them in the midst of the bustle. Do you ever wonder whether there's more to life? We're all on different journeys, but the sound of peace is always a lovely sound. If you want to pause for a moment and gather four candles or tea lights, you can prepare to join for Advent. We're using our homemade Advent log made from a log in our wood pile, and come join me and cozy up to my fire and light your second candle. Luke 2 says that there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby when Jesus was born. They were keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. Can you imagine? But the angel said to them, don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in the manger. And then suddenly a great host of angels came, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. We know the story. The shepherds all went together to Bethlehem and they found Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus lying in a manger. And then it says that they spread the word to everyone. The interesting piece to this story is that these shepherds were probably the ones that were looking after all of the animals that were to be used for sin offerings. So fitting that God would tell them first that there was coming a new order where sin offerings would not be needed because Jesus was going to die once and for all for all of the sins of the world. The sins of the world? Who, me? If you tell me I'm a sinner, I might feel offended because I've never done anything really bad or even wanted to do anything really bad. Why does the Bible say I'm a sinner? What does that mean? First of all, sin's not about doing bad things necessarily. Sin is about what's in my heart. You know that little bent that we have, you know, when somebody draws a line in the sand and says, don't put your toe over. And what do you do? You put your toe over just to see what will happen. Being a sinner just means that my back is toward God. Maybe I want to be my own God. Maybe I just don't want to believe in God. Maybe I don't trust him because some of the bad actors I've met. The answer to sin is to turn my face toward God. Accept Jesus' gift of life. Let him take away that part of me that always wants to walk away from God. The peace that I get is that now I know that there's more to life. I know I'm accepted by God. I know that no matter what is going on, God is on his throne and is working on my behalf. And that brings peace on the inside. And after all, that's where we feel it the most. The Westminster Catechism says that the chief aim of all people is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. The Bible says that God sings over us. Who wouldn't want to have that kind of relationship with the creator of the world? Christmas is the story of him giving us peace in our hearts, changing us on the inside, taking away our fear, our anxiety, our grief, uncertainty, letting the light of his presence into our lives and giving us peace. Jesus brings peace to our hearts in the midst of hustle and bustle. Sometimes the stuff that takes away our peace is around us, and sometimes it's inside us. Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. Let him shine his light and love into your heart and give you peace this Christmas. Happy Advent. That's a horrible picture. I don't know what's wrong. I was going like that. Mm. Okay.